Namaste, my dear friends. You may be surprised at this greeting. I guess with the COVID-19 pandemic surging, this Indian greeting has acquired tremendous significance. You might have read some time ago, Prince Charles refused to shake hands. Apart from the pandemic, I believe this Indian type of greeting is the most beautiful greeting in the world. And we join hands. We join hands usually during prayer. I greet another, we join hands and I bow my head. It means the divine in me greets the divine in you. My dear friends, we are going to share a little time in meditation. I believe the goal of meditation is this, to help me recognize the God living in me, recognize the God living in my neighbor and help each other recognize this. So once again, Namaste to each and every one of you. In the sessions, we are trying to go to make meditation. Talking about meditation is one thing. Practicing meditation is quite another. As someone has said, talking about meditation is like looking at the menu but not having dinner. Making meditation is the practice. And therefore, we should spend equal time in talking about meditation and in short practice of meditation each time. To begin with, the motivation for our actions is tremendously significant. We need to ask ourselves, why do I want to make med meditation? The world, the secular world is talking about meditation. They call it a stress buster. Tension is one of the biggest problems in the world of today and chemical equivalents will not reduce your tension. They can cause you much harm. More and more doctors are telling us meditation is the best stress buster. Meditation has, so to say, gone out of the secular, of the religious dimension. But basically, meditation is religious. It's our search for true identity. It is a search for the divine. Meditation, the secular world realizes, is powerful. Let us convince ourselves of the power of meditation, far beyond the power of all other sciences, all our other techniques. And if you are convinced of the method of meditation or the power of meditation, I'm sure we'll succeed in making meditation day after day better. There are hundreds of types of meditations. Let's begin with the basic one, which I would put as in an acronym, MBA. You know, today, you know, everybody wants to get this degree, MBA masters or mistresses of business administration. For me, MBA means masters and mistresses of breath awareness. One of the most universal methods of meditation is breath awareness. And the basic principle is this, meditation is a process or an, ex an experience of something that happens to me, not something that I do. And we know Breathing is not something that I do. You know, most of the time, breath is unconscious. So today, we shall spend a few moments in making this very simple method of meditation, namely breath awareness. Different way I invite you to take a very comfortable posture. Could be seated on the seat, on a chair, or on the floor if you like. Meditation requires a comfortable posture and an alert posture. Comfortable because you need to maintain it for quite a while. The body needs to become immobile so that the mind can become also immobile and quiet. So, comfortable posture. Secondly, alert posture. 
the most comfortable posture is lying down. But you know, there is danger we might fall asleep. So alert posture essentially means our backs are straight. So let's try to sit erect. Preferably with eyes closed, maybe better half closed. If it's fully open, nothing around you can distract you. If it's fully closed, you might fall asleep. So half open eyes. Breath awareness. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, God made man from the dust of the earth and breathed into him the breath of life and he became a human being. My dear friends, our breath is God giving life to us. We begin breathing by ourselves the moment we come out of our mother's wombs. The midwife gives us a rap on our buttocks, make us cry, so our lungs open up. We will breathe incessantly for 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe 100 years and breathe our last. Most of the time, breath is unconscious because we are not breathing. God is breathing life into me. Becoming aware of our breath is the basis of meditation. Most of the time, our breath is unconscious, particularly when we are asleep. So, let's not turn our attention to the tip of our nostrils, where our breath enters and from where our breath goes out. Watch your breath. Witness to your breath. Feel your breath. Observe your breath. God is breathing life into me here and now. Let me receive this breath joyfully, gratefully, deeply. My breath is not mine, it is God's life. As I breathe out, let me surrender this breath back to God. The two essential dimensions of breath, the in-breath and the out-breath. Let us feel this, not think about it, feel the air entering your nostrils and coming out of your nostrils. So many thoughts will invade us. Don't be disturbed. Just bring back your focus, your awareness to the tip of your nostrils. Watch your breath, feel your breath. Surrender to God, breathing life into you here and now. Slowly, our breath deepens. Try to feel your breath beyond your nostrils. As you know, our breath enters our lungs. Our breath enters our brain cells. Our brain cells need oxygen. A few seconds without oxygen, we could lose consciousness. Longer periods, we could die. The breath of God is in every atom and cell of my being. Let me feel this. Let me receive this breath slowly into my cheeks. 
to my eyes into my head into the millions of brain cells passes we can feel this breath in every atom and cell of your being we will be filled with the breath of god spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen